Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Air to Wields. We're picking up um, while we left off in the game and um, we're going to go have a chat to this Adelaide Sheila and the rest of the zoo to see what we can do over there, eh? So let's get straight into it. What the fuck is that? Ah, there's some bodies and beasts over here. Take all this. Any loot's good loot, you know. All right. Oh, is this like um, this well, sort of special beast or something? I don't know. There's a name and authoress. What's going on here? Have a little abandoned town. Any people here? Seems to be a lot of dead bodies. Not much in this little house. Not much in this little settlement at all, to be honest. Oh, is this a plasma rifle? Okay. Not a bad little hole from that. Here, to be honest, wasn't too sure how it would play out, but yeah, it actually wasn't too bad. We should be getting closer to this um, deserted settlement now. We're just up over this hill, I believe. Here we go. Botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I'm not here to cause trouble, man. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I have some, an I need answers, some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed says something about a former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. We've all got problems. We've got shot into space <laughs> explains why you're still yammering on at me no i'm sorry that was unworthy of me lady named zoe went missing some nights ago just up and vanished without a trace now i'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her i'll keep an eye out. it's not like zoe to go wandering figured she might be out scavenging but that ain't exactly her talent can't imagine where she's gone Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Don't worry about it, I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Oh, there you go. Got a new quest to do, guys. Mm, this is a nice little town. Compared to fucking Edgewater, this town is a nice little shanty. Don't want to have a look around, to be honest. Alright, I might go speak to um, Adelaide, and then we shall. Ooh. Yeah, we'll speak to Adelaide, then we'll talk to people around, eh? If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asks me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. Question is, why would you agree to his plans? 
Your camp has a power regulator. I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reeds is trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. <clears throat> I trust you will listen to your conscience. Yeah, this is a tough one, because like, to be honest, this place looks a lot more healthier and better than um, Edgewater. And like, you know, but at the same time, this is these people's choice to like, desert, move on, they weren't happy, but everyone else doesn't seem happy, but also kind of seems content, you know, it's like, just their life. Hey, to be honest, I don't really know what to do here, guys. I might have a talk around town, look around, you know, ask some questions to people. It's always journal. Ah, this is always space. Alright, oh, so young Zoe had dreams of being a bandit leader, eh? A raw to fucking boss. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out Zoe's made off to this bandit camp. I will go and suss that out first and um, get her to come back. And then we'll sort out this edge border and desert situation. Give me some time to think about the decision I've got to make here, you know. Personally, I reckon that chick's a bit more of a better leader. I get what she's doing. But, you know, at the same time, like, there's a lot more people at edge border who are just content going through their life like that. But... Oh, shit. Oh, you marauder scout. <laughs> what I haven't used yet? A fucking sniper. See how this plays here. Oh. Please. Another one over there. Dead. Here we go. Jesus Christ. I just walked out of a whole little settlement with me fucking sniper. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Just having a rabbit around most of the town real quick. Um, I'll leave what I can before I go and chat to the Zoe Chick. See what her fucking deal was. She's happy for decisions. But hey though, I'm a fan of this rifle. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. <laughs> Zoe, your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I mean, sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Can't imagine you're happy yet here. Food's awful, company's worse, and serial dramas. And no serial dramas! I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Alright, there you go. I found Zoe and she's heading back on the camp, giving up on her dreams of being a marauder queen for now. Alright, I think I've pretty much done most of the things. Yeah, all I left to do now is divert the power, so I reckon I might do a bit of exploring around these little hidden areas on the map. Let's see what I can find, shall we? You do find some pretty cool things when you're just running around like the edges of the maps and games and um, just looking for whatever you really can, sort of. That's what I'm doing right now. Seeing where I can go, seeing what I can do. Alright. I just came back to the, um, the botanical lab real quick, so I want to talk to um, Grace. Finish with this what quest. is it? Talk to Zoe to come back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. I didn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe, the same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. 
Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Alright, we want to have a bit more of a quick look around here. Have a chat to some other people, see what's to go. Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I'm gonna give you some couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. All right. Today's well, your lucky day, Thomas. So I've got you one of those data pads you wanted. There no you go. kidding. One on me. Really? Well, which one? Part one, found in the community center archives. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Hold on, I've got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The elusive part three, someone stashed away inside the old gym. Geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Oh, that's what it was. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Wait, so the other one was in town. I might actually go pick that up for him real quick. So we can um, finish off this quest. There it is. Alright, there we go. Well, we got the last little part now for that guy. I didn't realise I had two of those other ones on me already, but it worked out pretty nicely. We'll take this last one on over to um, Thomas and, yeah, finish his quest off. Make him a real fucking engineer, eh? Any luck finding one of those manuals? One. The last one, don't you mean? No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Second one. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. <laughs> I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Now we are back in here at the um, geothermal plant, and it is time. Transfer the power. Be thinking about what I'm gonna do, guys. Self diagnostics complete. Navigation systems Jeremy. operational. Combat Who systems operational. It's not the best choice, it's the spacer's choice. You made it out of the junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto-mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto-mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. 
Oh, let's redirect this power, right? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? The last. Alright. Oh, I've redirected all Once the power this, now, so... No going back. Hey, mister? Oh, here we go. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't want to hear in your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make my decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Alright. Redirect the power. Alright, guys. Yeah. So I think I'm going to send into the edge of here. Botanical Laboratory is a beautiful looking place and I feel bad for the um, deserters, but if they really want to desert, they'll find their way out there. All these other people, all they know is this, um, the corporate way. It's pretty fucked, but you know, they've been raised on it, so I don't know any different. I want to redirect the power back to them and hopefully help boost their economy and make it a little bit better. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, so it seems we still, actually, uh, still can actually convince the Zerders to go back. Hopefully, hopefully I can. I'm gonna try that. Bit. Don't look at these people. Just keep your head down. Keep looking the other way. We're all up in town helping these people. Just to strip them away from all this stuff. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? So, the second option is, this isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. That kind of is pretty personal. <laughs> it's like he's doing it for anyone else. He needs it. Oh, I need it, but Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You're being unreasonable. Come back to Edgewater. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my terms. Hmm. I'm willing to deal with Reed. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't going to just leave his play, uh, post. I need help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Mm. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Whoa. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, I mean, like, that is pretty wild, but like... In some sense, I can kind of see it as like, you know, that person's passing it on, they're dying and like, they're giving their body to help the rest of them, like help their family and everyone like survive sort of thing, their last, last duty to the colony. 
It's like grave fee shit anyway, you know, people paying for a grave when they're dead and everything, like this might change it for them. And plus this chick does seem, you know, she's healing people, it's working, saving lives, keeping people fed and everything. You think that will convince Reed to step down? I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. So we might actually head over to Edgewater real quick, guys, and chat to Reed. Alright, so to be honest, I'm really happy with this decision how it's going to play out. Like, I wasn't too keen on ending the, um, gardens. That everything was sorted out for him. I didn't even know this was an option. I like it. You know, like, Reed Thompson is, like, he's running the place, but he's doing a pretty shit job at it, to be honest. Like, I feel like if, um, Adelaide was in charge, it'd be a lot more easier on the people and everyone wouldn't be so, like, drained and fucked looking and more graveside fees. <laughs> This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I'm sure you have, mate. Hands of misery. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. I am a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. At least people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. This town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. Pretty sure that's your food is making you sick. You need Adelaide's guard. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Wait, Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math and it works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Mm. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. All right, there you go. You're stepping down in the honorable way. Poor guy probably would get fucked up here, to be honest. All right, so it's been quite a bit of just fast traveling back and forth right now, but um, yeah, we got it done. If convinced Reed to leave, we're getting these people to head back over to um, Edgewater. The town should thrive now, these people will thrive. New lead, new charge, better in control. Look at that. The snakes come back. I talked Reed into leaving, come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Edgewood is better off if you run in the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. All right, take care. There you go. With that, I'll be taking my power regulator. All right, guys. So, Edgewater and the veil being exploded and completed. Only time to head back on my ship with my new power regulator that I had to get and um, fix her up, eh? The unreliable. I've gained two new companions from this place, Bavardi and the Vicar. Wood is going to be better off now with Adelaide leading it. 
Why is my same bit here you going? They're dead already. Why do they care if their body's going to help and everybody else around them? It'll be good to um, come back and see if Edgewood changes. No more plague, proper fed people. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? We're glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. You do need a mechanic, so you know. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. There you go. Your body is now officially part of the team. Ah, oh, Vicar. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Let's try for it, brother. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Right, send off checking on his own quarters and uh, we gotta speak to Ada. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Yes, I did do what a lot for that community. For you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. There you go, guys. We have to power up the unreliable. What a name for a ship. There she is. Sold. Put your very own ship. No one in the body. It's your room in the main. Sleep over in that corner, keep an eye on the engine. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Alright, let's get out of here. Request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, what about that old bastard? Good to be waiting wait here for him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. 
Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Right. Black marketeer. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Ah, got it. There we go, guys. We're up in space. Above Edgewater, I believe. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video here now. It's quite um, a way to end the video, I believe. Wasn't a bad little finishing to um, Edgewater the town. I'm happy with how that played out. I'm glad we were able to get Adelaide to end up taking over the town and helping them out. Yeah, ways might seem a bit how you're going. It's for the greater good, I believe. And Reed's ways of running that town was a shithole. Yeah. This Adelaide will be able to bring everyone together, heal them, go after them, and yeah. Everyone's hoping it'll be a bit better when I go back. So, I'm looking forward to going back to Edgewater and seeing if it changes much. I didn't actually explore everything on that planet, so I will need to go back there. And um, when I do, look forward to it. Right, guys, I'll thank you for watching the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one where we head over to this shipbreaker and speak to this black marketeer, right? Take care.